Joining us now, ranking member of House Oversight is Congressman James Comer. Okay, Congressman, that's not true what Jen Psaki had said. I mean, the New York Post is reporting based on a calendar in Hunter Biden's laptop that Hunter Biden met 30 times with then Vice President Biden right after, often right after Hunter Biden made personal business trips overseas to places like Russia, Romania, and Colombia. But you are saying that the Treasury and Biden White House is blocking details on anything going on with their deal making. What's going on? Well, we've discovered that Hunter Biden had 150 suspicious activity reports filed against various bank accounts that he had. A uh, suspicious activity report is the bank's way of covering themselves from uh, potential liability because they think a client has uh, performed criminal activity. Uh, prior to Joe Biden becoming president, any member of Congress could request suspicious activity reports from Treasury. Once Joe Biden came in office, before it became public that Hunter had all these bank violations, he changed the rules where no member of Congress can have access to suspicious activity reports. And Liz, they were put into place during the first or during the second Bush administration after September the 11th to try to track potential activity of from terrorist groups around the world funneling money into U.S. terror cells. It's also used by uh, the feds to track money laundering. So these are very serious bank violations. And for Jen Psaki or anyone else in this administration to say that the Biden administration is transparent, that's just simply not true. And this is the perfect example. Oh, Congressman, so if everything's copacetic and okay with your deal making, why don't they just release the reports to Congress? This is your oversight activity. We got to break it down. The Post is reporting in February 2012, Hunter Biden dined with billionaire oligarchs in Moscow. Four days after his return, he meets with Vice President Biden at the Naval Observatory. In 2015, he meets with the Russian ambassador of the U.S., goes to Romania for business meetings, gets back, talks to the vice president about it. He also went to Colombia and talking infrastructure deals with Colombia officials there, lucrative deals. Uh, that's what the, it seems like this is their fort, fort right, that to do infrastructure deals. And then reportedly debriefed Vice President Biden about it. So how can they block you on oversight when that's your job? Well, uh, they're doing it, and they're going to be able to do it uh, for a few more months. Hopefully, the American people will go to the polls in November and uh, elect Republicans, and we can have a majority, and I can have the gavel, which with the gavel on the Oversight Committee comes subpoena power. So if the administration and the different cabinets don't work with us, then we will subpoena for that information, and we will get that information. But you, you look at the Biden business model, it's not just Hunter, it's Joe's brother, Jim. They've made money for decades off the Biden Biden family name promising to sell access. We just uncovered a, a new court case uh, just last week that's been filed where uh, potential investors that uh, gave money to Jim Biden uh, because he promised them access to Middle Eastern capital. He promised them that he could have uh, Middle Eastern money invest in their company because he was Joe Biden's brother. So this is a family that's been profiting off the Biden family name for many years, which is illegal, not to mention uh, it's very unethical. And, you know, the Biden White House continues to try to cover it up when okay. you have the laptop and you have all these who, pending wait, who, lawsuits. Who, who specifically is blocking your access to the Treasury's 150 suspicious, suspicious activity reports on the Biden's deal making? Who's doing that? Specifically, it would be Janet Yellen uh, because uh, you go to the top. So we've requested uh, at least three times uh, from her these suspicious activity reports. Now, she came back and said that, uh, well, I'll tell you what, we'll give them to you if you can get another Democrat in the House to sign on to that. Well, that's changing the rules in the middle of the game. But regardless, no Democrat wants to deal with the Hunter Biden situation. They know there's so, a so problem So they're saying there. they you have to have a Democrat in on, what, who? <laughs> Adam Schiff, who's going to read it in a skip right. and mislead and mislead and, and leak incorrectly about it? Why can't you just yes. read it in a, in a secure compartment, a skiff? I mean, it's critical for Congress and the American public to see before the election what's going on. The last election was heavily influenced by the Hunter laptop as Russian disinformation. One out of seven voters said they may have changed their vote and not voted for Biden because of that. This is congressional oversight. We are a system of mm -hmm. checks and balances. What tools do you have to force this issue? You're being obstructed. 
Well, we're going public with uh, the information that we have. Uh, and unlike Adam Schiff, we have factual, substantive information. We have uh, dozens of potential uh, people that have, have done business with Hunter Biden. We have lawsuits that are pending, lawsuits that have already okay. been settled. We have uh, the bank records from the laptop. So uh, Hunter Biden's a shady business character. We fear that he has compromised this White House. That's why we're not going to continue to let up on these investigations. And we're okay. going to hold somebody accountable for this. We have tangible evidence evidence of influence peddling on a scale mm -hmm. never seen before by a first family. Their skill set is only influence peddling. That's the allegation okay. against James and Hunter Biden. We'll stay on it with Congressman Comer. Thanks for coming on, sir. Come back soon.